Hi everyone! Welcome back to This Book Belongs to Pam and welcome to Bookmas! <laughs> I've been super nervous to actually film this video because uh, doing Bookmas is kind of scary. <laughs> if you're not familiar with Bookmas, it's kind of like YouTube's Vlogmas but make it bookish. Leading up to Christmas, I'm gonna try my best, fingers crossed, to post festive bookish videos. Things like themed reading vlogs, book wish lists, maybe even a book exchange, and also, you know, joining a couple of the festive readathons that we have here on Booktube, hosted by the lovely Booktube community. With that said, what better way to open up the bookmas season with a December TBR. I have here in my sort of planner all of the books that I am thinking of um, reading for December. I'm pretty ambitious with this TBR, I'm not gonna lie, because there are a lot of readathons going on, a lot of book clubs, a lot of buddy reads that are in here, and I usually read about five to seven books per month, and in here, I feel like there's gonna be like 10 books or something. A girl can wish. It's the Christmas season anyway, right? Let's go through all of the books that I plan or hope to read in December. Let's start with a book that is in my November TBR, but I wasn't able to finish reading it, which is Tikada Setenta or The 70s by Joel Hati Bautista. I started reading it. I'm currently on page 20, so I didn't really get too far into it. It's Pretty difficult for me to read because it's in Tagalog, which is my native language. But here in the Philippines, because we were colonized for so long, we usually, you know, are more used to reading English and writing in English rather than in Tagalog. Which is why I really want to read this because I want to improve my vocabulary and make sure that I'm supporting, you know, Filipino authors. So I'm still gonna continue reading this for this month. Next, I want to move on to books that I am categorizing here in my Honey Danny notebook as body reads. So these are basically books that I've planned to read with other people or maybe with like a book club that I'm part of. The first book that I'm body reading is um, Caravel by Stephanie Garber. So I'm body reading this with Perry from Six of Chaos. So I will leave her link in the description box. She makes amazing book trip videos, so make sure to follow her. So Caravel, what is this about? Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. I think I was sort of curious about this series because Carrie from Carrie Can Read raves about this series, this trilogy, as well as the duology that comes after it, which is once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After. This is a YA fantasy book and this book is about two sisters and they have this dream of watching this once in a lifetime legendary performance called Caraval. However, this performance is invitation only. But of course, somehow, mysteriously, they get invited so they go to Caraval and as luck would have it, the, one of the sisters was kidnapped by the sort of the mastermind organizer of Caraval. That is where the journey begins. I'm not sure who we're following in here. Maybe the other sister. I'm, I'm really not sure. I have no idea. I just love all of the whimsical imagery that this gives me. It kind of reminds me of Where Dreams Descend by Janela Angeles and I love that book so much. Not the sequel. The sequel does not exist in my opinion but yeah I just love all of that circus, festival, carnival imagery because I think it really it's really perfect especially for the Christmas season. So that's the first book Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Second book that I'm reading is a little bit risky, it's a little bit salacious, and it is Sinner by Sierra Simone. I am body reading this with Pam from Pam Shenanigans. Again, link is in the description box for all these lovely people that I am mentioning. And this book is actually the second in a series. Um, the series isn't really sort of like connected, it's just in the same universe. Um, I read the first book in November and it was actually 
I actually liked it. <laughs> it's a very, very small book. Especially this one. From the title and cover itself, you can see it's called Sinner. You've got a naked man in the cover. You know where this is going. I think in this book, we are following the brother of the priest from the first book called Priest. We're following him through his like vices and everything. And he's probably gonna fall in love with someone. I don't know, but we are buddy reading this because we just want to read something fun and smut is always fun. So yeah, Sinner by Sierra Simone. Third book that I'm reading, <laughs> whew, I'm getting kind of nervous just thinking about it. Not for the same reasons as the previous book. It is very thick and that is Secret History by Donna Tartt. This is actually the book club pick for Jamie's Library, link in the description box. And honestly, I'm super nervous about this. I don't think I can actually finish it because it is over 500 pages and I also know that it is not the easiest to read in terms of like the pace and the tone of the book and uh, I don't know but I want to try um, I want to give it a go oh uh, god like I said ambitious DBR so we already know what this book is about it's dark academia we have a group of clever misfit students in an elite school and things go wrong and we just sort of follow them as they struggle with morality in pursuit of i don't know art excellence i don't know so that's a secret history by donna tart the next couple of books that i want to read is actually going to be part of some of the videos that i plan to create for bookmas and one of them i've i actually haven't decided yet but it falls under the category of cozy mysteries so cozy mysteries i feel like they're not christmasy necessarily but i think it's fun to read something cozy quick and just you know light-hearted so i do have some books in mind for this category of cozy mysteries and that is black Mill and bibinka dial a for aunties and um there's another one that i wanted ah finlay donovan is Killing it or Finlay Donovan knocks them dead. The second book, <laughs> whichever is the second book. The next book that I want to read is actually somewhere here in the background. It's this mystery package in here. This is a blind book that I bought from, I believe it's a Conjuring of Magic on Instagram. I bought this in March, May? I don't know, earlier this year, but I never really got to it. And I haven't opened it since I got it. I have no idea what this book is. I just know that it's dark, fantasy, retelling, and horror. So I guess you just have to watch that video to find out. I don't I can't really tell you anything about it. And lastly, this is not really a TBR, but I just want to talk about some of the readathons that I plan to join for this month. My priority is this mini readathon under Aurelium, which is this fantasy world readathon, magical readathon that is created by G of Book Rose. And it's called Lightfall at Old Favor Pass. So it's kind of like a festive holiday town set outside of the Aurelium Academy, which is the main setting of the magical readathon. And it's a chill one because we just have a bunch of shops and we can visit a shop and read based on the prompt of that shop. I'm gonna explain it further once I actually do the vlog for this readathon. There are a couple of books that I want to read for that, but I'm actually just gonna be picking from my existing TBR that I talked about earlier. I'm not sure if I need to add anything because I did pick those TBR you know sort of based on the prompts that I want to fulfill for this magical readathon so yeah I'm gonna talk more about that later on but if you want to join I will leave the link to G's announcement video on this readathon next one is actually a fairly new to me readathon I've never seen this before and it's called the reindeer readathon and what intrigued me about this readathon is that you can actually get sorted. I love it when you're sorted into teams and you're sort of competing for points and whatnot. It's the competitive nature in me. But yeah, you can get sorted into different teams. Like it's very Christmas themed. The prompts are actually named after the reindeers. They have Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, so on and so forth. Sounds a lot of fun. I just signed up today, like before I started this video. And I'm gonna get sorted. I don't know where. Just have to watch out for the vlog for that. Again, 
I'm just gonna be doubling up. I'm not gonna read new books for this. So I'm just gonna double up whatever TBR I already have and um, I'm just gonna apply it <laughs> to all of the readathons that I'm joining this month. So the last readathon that I want to join is another chill one. It's called Festive Readathon and it's created by Steph Loves. I'm gonna link her down below. And it's basically this festive bingo board where you have prompts and things that you can do. So it has like read a book with festive colors or eat slash drink fest something festive. That is it. <laughs> I say that is it, but that's a lot. A lot of books, a lot of readathons, a lot of videos that I'm thinking of making. But yeah, I'm very excited to take part in Bookmas. Finally, I've been wanting to take part in this ever since I started Booktube and I just want to have fun. If that means posting, you know, not every day, that's what it means. I just want to try and create as many festive content as I can because I just want to celebrate this season. I hope you're excited for everything I have planned for December. I'm very excited, very, very nervous about it, but very excited. I will see you in the next video. Bye!